Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And he said, Jesus said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons. <laughs> say, say, turn to your wife. <laughs> say, why are you worried? It's not for you to know the time or the season. It's not for me either. I don't need to know the time or the season. That's not the reason. I don't need to know the why. It says, the Father hath put in his own power. It is not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. Say this with me. God has power. He don't have to tell me nothing. Come on. He don't have to tell me nothing. Why, why is it that we as Christians want, want to pick up and do God's job for him? Why do we want to do God's job for him and not just let God be God? Amen? God should do his own job. Amen? Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Tell, tell your neighbor, stay in your lane. <laughs> in verse 8 says, but ye shall receive power. You shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. I like to, I, I like, I'm, I'm almost a lawyer. I'm not quite a lawyer, but I'm almost a lawyer. And that word shall means that it's, it's irrevocable. That means that it has to happen. That means, that means if God put it in his word and he put the word shall in there, that's an irrevocable thing. It shall happen. It will happen. It's going to happen. Amen? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It has to happen. It, it can't not happen because he said shall. My Bible says, my Bible says, whoo, I'm getting off feeling the presence of God right now. I'm going to tell you right now, my Bible says the word of God is settled in heaven. It's not, it's not up to me to interpret it. Come on, it's not up to me to interpret what he settled in heaven. I don't have to go and explain, explain to anybody what his word says. I just have to live it. We can't even live it out. We wonder why we got no power. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. But he shall give power after that. The Holy Ghost is come upon you. And there's that colon right there. And here's the purpose. Here's the purpose of power. I want to, I want to give you this. We, we think the purpose of power is for us. Because we're so consumed by our own self. And, and he said, there's a colon, right? Uh, but you shall receive power, comma, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, colon, and ye shall be witnesses. 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 That means that something happened, I'm just supposed to talk about it. <laughs> come, come on. See, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. A witness didn't do it. A witness just talks about what happened. Amen? Amen. That means God's about to do something, and we're going to talk about it. Amen? Uh, he's going to do something, and I get to talk about it. He's the one that has the power. I'm the one that gets to talk about it. He has the power. I talk about it. He's got the power. I, got to, I, could, I could do this. I used to do this when I, was, uh, when I was younger. I had roller skate. We used to do a thing called rubber leg. And, and I had roller skates on, and I could probably still do it if I had my skates. My, I, I still have my skates from when I was younger, but I don't think they fit my feet anymore because after all, uh, putting, up, putting up all this weight, holding it all up for all these years, my feet kind of expanded. They swelled up a little bit. But I'm going to tell you right now, that's what we got to do. We just got to remember, right? It's a flow, amen? It's a, it's a move of God. He's trying to flow through us. He's trying to work through us. It's his power. I just talk about what he did. Power is given, right, so that I can be a witness. Amen? Purpose is being a witness. That's my purpose. My purpose is to be a witness. Your purpose is to be a witness, right? That's why we were given. That's why we were forgiven. That's why we give away what we had, forgiveness. <laughs> if I had some time, I would... I would teach you about the, the widow that cast in her two mites into offering. And Jesus, didn't look, he looked at everybody else that was given that day, but he only noticed the one who gave all. She gave all her life, all her living. She trusted God with everything, every hope, every dream. You know, she didn't even know if she was going to eat that night because she didn't have no more money to buy no more food. She didn't know if she going to, but she trusted God with all of it, I wonder if there's a Christian, if there's a person anywhere that would just say, you know what, God, I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to give you all that I have, all my hopes, all my dreams, 
all my yesterdays, all the things I don't understand, all the things that I, <laughs> I've been working it, I've been working it. I wonder if we could give them that. I wonder if we could give them what we understand is right or wrong. I wonder if we could give them, if we could just give it all to him. I wonder if we could just say, you know what, God? <sighs> Last time I felt like this, I ripped my shirt open and lost all my buttons. I'm going to tell you right now, there's something going on inside of me, and I don't know if I can just keep it inside of me anymore. And I'm, I just ripped my shirt, and I went, I had buttons went everywhere. This is my favorite, this is my favorite shirt, God. Why do you want me to do that? It's probably not him talking. Let me just say this. The time for excuses is over. Can I just say it again? The time for excuses is over. The time for excuses is over. Amen? It's over. It's over. Because God is doing a new thing today. Amen? A new thing is about to happen. It's going to manifest. It's got to come. Amen? got to happen. Amen? I will be a witness. I will be a witness. Amen?